All right, guys, welcome back. Fuck you, Russ, 2 6. We're down in Hobart. Fuck you, Russ is down here for a wedding and uh, try to make the most of it. Came here a day early. Wanted to see what we could chasing up Pokemon cards in this area. I found Hobart's quite an untapped market. There's a few things here. And we'll start off with we went down to the EB down in Hobart. Down at the, the Cat Fiddle shopping center or little shopping complex we have. We found We found these. Booster bundles, which are one of the hardest things to get down in didn't down in Melbourne. They did have a re-release or reprint of them, I believe, because a few EBs down in Melbourne got got some. That's what that video was telling you about. I managed to pick up five of these bad boys from one of the EBs. They're gonna they ship it through, but told all my friends and family mates about it who follow Pokemon cards, and they they weren't able to cop them because they were all gone. So we managed to grab two of those from the EB down here. Shout out to Cam. Uh, nice, nice chap. Try to try to get me him down as a plus one for the wedding, uh, but he looked after us with, with those. And then we went, we went down to this place called Area Fifty Two, but they had they had a heap of stuff down there. Unfortunately, they wanted like twenty percent plus more for every other product that they have. So we managed to find the good good games down there. Staff managed to help me out. Managed to help me out with getting a whole bunch of these pokey. Pokeballs, which we've had a look at, and we've also learned if anybody's interested in working out these all most Pokeballs look the same. I'm not sure what Pokeball that is, but we know that's a love ball, the pink one, and that's a great ball, I'm pretty sure, over there. So these must be like some sort of rip up of a um, of a master ball. But you can see it says $30 on them. They're actually only $25 when they scanned it. The girl was a bit shocked at the time, but it comes with three booster packs in here, which it's very hard to tell because this Target sell these, Kmart sell them, everyone sells them. And the kind of only way you can check is if you spin it around the back and you go down to the bottom, it'll tell you what year it was. So you can see there it says 1995 to 2022. So you mean this is last year's one, but it still doesn't tell you what packs it in. But I did some research, and this is probably the first order, people. J21. J21, that's the number code for it, which tells you what packs are in it, which we're going to find out in a moment when we open, open them just to keep... Keep it all. We've got, we got heaps of these, so we've got that. This is the love ball. I'll give you guys a quick look and see what that one's like. And then uh, the great, I believe, the great ball. And then what we got down below here, these are the first partner packs. So inside of here are these oversized cards from the different areas. This area here, we believe, it is the Hoenn region. This region over here is the Unova region. And then we got the Sinnoh region. So... Look at this. It's even got the, um, the tag pull through. But then inside of here are some older packs from, says it just over there. It says from like Sword and Shield era and then potentially also Sun and Moon era as well, which is an old set. So 20 bucks, eh, we might break the bank. We probably won't. I don't know. We we might get what we paid for on those. But these, which we're about to, about to come over here. Shout out to Moven, Moven Peck. No, no, no. Uh, Moven Peck, they're not sponsoring us but we'll still give them a bit of a shout out down the back and we'll get cracked in this this is $30 I don't know if it is actually supposed to be $30 or she was just wanted to look after us because we told her we were down in Melbourne and we we're looking for old cards which she did that shout out again to, to them they were good they were good trying to help us out I told her what we wanted I was chasing up old cards because in Melbourne all the old cards retail stuff is all gone all right, push the button. That doesn't do anything. We've got to pop it open. All right, let's get started. Let's do them backwards. First pack is a Fusion Strike. So a Fusion Strike pack's nothing too special. You get these for about six bucks or so. It's actually quite straight. I thought the cards would be all smashed up and bent, bent from that. So we've got a Fusion Strike. And the next one we've got is Chilling Rain. So Chilling Rain's, again, Nothing too um, too special, but it's you know it's still I would say about mm, eight to ten dollars for a pack. So what do we got? Eight to ten, five, yeah. So we're probably around fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars. And then this is what we got. Look at this, evolving skies. That's huge. That's huge. These booster packs go for twenty, thirty dollars just for a booster pack, uh, which is virtually just paid off that that whole thing. Oh, what else we got in here? What's in there? Oh yeah, we got a little. Oh look at that, a little, little Eevee. Can't see me because the camera's in the way, but a little Eevee. 
Let's keep that over there. Keep the ball in the background. So, you know what? We might just we might just rip into it. Why not? Here we go. Let's start ripping. All right. We don't know what the what the pack trick is. So we'll shout out. We'll give her a code card. Code card there. We got a Zarura. Ooh, Shelter. Rapid Strike. Caterpie. Pulled out too many cards. What have we done? Dilba. Strinx. I don't know what that is. Shark. Ooh, and that, that looks like that's the rare there. Reverse Hollow Rare. Energy. So one, two, three. See, it looks like it's a three three card pack trick and then we'll keep them aside we might do the three card pack trick for this one here so what do we got here we got chilling rain it's a bit chilly down here in Taz. it's a bit chilly down here in tassie so suits shift code card one two three put it to the front all right it's sus all right first card maloney second card willipedo a cyborg a Weedle, a Clobopus, a Mareep, a Ralts, Castrom, a Flaffy Reverse, and that is, <laughs> that looks like it was into, that is the, uh, that's the rare Golok, non hollow pretty rubbish. Now, Evolving Skies, come on baby, first Evolving Skies I've ever opened up. 20 plus dollars a packet of these. Oh, it opens up like gold. If Evolving Skies is, what is it? We said it's Sword and Shield. We'll do the pack trick on this as well. Oh, code card's already the right way. So one, two, three, energy four. Should be right. Yes, see, we got that right. We're learning. So we got energy. We got Rescue Carrier. We'll slow roll these. We got Crustal. But you siring. We got a sable eye. We got a latte. We got a hitmonchan single strike. Got a cutie fly. Probably looking at the first reverse. No. Oh, Eevee. It's a nice card. And we got Ray Kaiser in the back swing there. That's what we're chasing a Ray Kaiser. Or an Umbreon, a Moonbreon. Latte. I think we just pulled that on the other one. Reverse. And that is what the hole is. A lily. Lily Gant. Shout out to Hillard and Samantha. They got a little lily, lily dog at home. But anyway, that's it. You know what? We might we might gift one of these. One of these evolving skies to Hillen to uh, open up on the wedding day. We might do a little video of that. Hit us up with some likes in the uh, down the bottom and some comments if you want that, alright? See you soon guys. Bye.